So we're going to start off inside this white square. So have Ed and Will go in the middle for me. Dan, go on that end for me. And Jack, come on that end. Kieran and Will come in the middle. Hills, you go on that end. Mark, you go on the, uh, on the far end for me. And now, greens play to greens, blues play to blues. So in here, it's a combination with the two people in the middle and find your end men. So all it is is one might come short, one might go a bit longer, Kieran. We'll play into there, a little combination between you two. Good, and then play Mark in there. Good, now Mark, that's good because I want you moving up and down the line to receive. Ready, off we go, play. Good, miss the first man out. Fire it into him, Hilsey, Hilsey, fire it into him at pace. Fire it in. Good, Ed. Wait till they're set in the middle. <laughs> Hang on, stop there. The men on the outside, you're too keen to feed it in. Yes, Jack, play it into me. Cheers, mate. So if Will's already there and Ed isn't in position yet, I might just have to hold it. And what can I do with it? Just move in an angle, then we play. Do you see what I mean? Don't play it until they're ready and they're calling for it in the middle. Ready? Off we go. Play. We've got four players of each colour, so four blues, four greens, and two players of each team in the middle. Um, the greens play to the greens, the blues play to the blues. So when the greens combine with the greens in the middle, they've got to play in amongst the blues and play out to another green, but there will be two balls at the same time, so you've got that interference and movement, and, and uh, it's a good technical warm-up. Hey, got to be sharper in there, got to be sharper, Kieran. Got to be sharper. Hey, it's a tight area. It's a tight area. Play, play. Good, good, Ed. That's ah, better, you two. Better. Play, play. Keep going, keep going. Play. Combination then to the outside. Good. Now, I want you to mix it up a bit. If I'm on the outside here and Kieran plays it into me, now I can go into your end man. So I might miss these two out and go where? Straight into there. What will that do to these two in the middle? Then it will change their movement and they're looking to come and receive off the end man. When and when you play that one, don't mind. So you might play through the middle two or three times, then suddenly you just bounce the end man. But as Hillsy plays Will Bateman, what do we have to see from you two? Movement, a change of position, maybe a rotation in there as well. Ready? Play, off we go. Good, have a look. Could go end man to end man. Go on, Hillsy. Good. It's easy to watch the ball travel as it goes across and concentrate on your touch, but it's harder to see where you're going. The better players do check and scan to see where it is. Because by the time you get it, you've received it, the picture might, what? It might have already changed. So you've got to make sure you scan your check. And we've said if that ball goes from Woody into Dan, you're checking once. As he's about to play it, let's check again. Because it's travelling to your check. So we try and get three checks out if we can. Check into the shoulder. All right, for the players to, to warm up, um, to get them lots of touch on the ball, but in a tight space, but still have a lot of decision-making in the practice.